Let's have a look at how we can find the equation of a straight line in three dimensions. And there are three forms in which we can do this. The first is the vector equation of a straight line, which has the form r equal to c plus t times a, where r is the position vector of a general point on the line, c is the position vector of a specific point on the line, t is a parameter which can take any value, and a is a vector in the direction of the line. So to see how this works in practice, consider a straight line through the points A and B shown here. Then to find the vector C, this could be taken using either point. So here I'm going to let it be the position vector of the point A, that is the vector OA, which will be I plus 3J plus 4K. Now since we're given two points on the line, to get the vector in the direction of the line, here that will just be the vector from point A to point B. And the vector AB is worked out always as OB minus OA, where here OB is going to be 0I plus 2J plus 8K, and OA will be I plus 3J plus 4K, as before. Hence, in this case, the vector in the direction of the line A is going to be negative i minus j plus 4k. Therefore, putting all of this together in this case, the equation of our straight line R is going to be c, which is i plus 3j plus 4k, plus t times a, which is t times negative i minus j plus 4k, where different values of t would then give different points on the line. Now the second way in which we can write the equation of a straight line is using its scalar parametric equations as shown here, where C1, C2 and C3 are the coordinates of a specific point on the line and A1, A2, A3 are the components of the vector in the direction of the line, while X, Y, Z represent a general point on the line, so that therefore once again t can take any value where different values of t thus give different points on the line. And to see how this works in practice, let's go back to the example we were just looking at, where we found the vector equation of our line had form i plus 3j plus 4k plus t times negative i minus j plus 4k. And to convert this to scalar parametric equations, Let's start off by writing R in the form xi plus yj plus zk, since it's a position vector of a general point on the line. And on this side, let's expand the right-hand side, which is going to give us minus ti minus tj plus 4tk here for those last three terms. Now let's group i, j and k terms on the right-hand side. So here we have 1i minus ti, so that's 1 minus ti. We have 3j minus tj, so giving 3 minus tj. And similarly we have 4 plus 4t, lots of k. And to find the scalar parametric equations, we now equate the coefficients of i, j and k. So starting with i, we can see that x is equal to 1 minus t, looking at the coefficients of j on both sides, y equals 3 minus t, and for the coefficients of k, z is equal to 4 plus 4t. So that would be the scalar parametric equations for this particular straight line. Now the third way in which we can represent the equation of a straight line is with its Cartesian equations as shown here where once again x, y and z are the coordinates of any general point on the line, c1, c2, c3 are the coordinates of a specific point, and again a1, a2, a3 are the components of a vector in the direction of the line. So applying this to our example, we found that our straight line had scalar parametric equations, x equal to 1 minus t, y equal to 3 minus t, z equals 4 plus 4t. So to put them into the form of these Cartesian equations, we can rearrange each of these to make t the subject. 
So for the first equation, that gives us t equal to x minus 1 divided by negative 1. The second one for y rearranges to give t equal to y minus 3 divided by negative 1. And that third equation for z will rearrange to give t equal to z minus 4 divided by 4. And finally, putting these together, we can eliminate t by setting those equal to each other to get x minus 1 divided by negative 1 equal to y minus 3 divided by negative 1 equal to z minus 4 divided by 4. And those therefore give the Cartesian equations of this straight line, also sometimes known as the symmetric equations of the line.